Well, since nobody's talking about this online, I figure I'd make a video about a how to hook up this 3-inch display to a far driver 72450. There's one way they recommend to hook it up, and that's using the one lin wire. But that only gets you speed. And it might show you, you know, what gear you're in. So I wanted to get more, so I hooked it up to the CAN bus. So first you need a far driver with CAN bus enabled, and then you have to hook up two wires. So out of the harness of the three inch display, you got this green and red, this is actually green and yellow and red and black and they go to the far driver yellow red and yellow brown I would imagine anyway these are labeled can low and can high on both the display documentation and the far driver documentation so here's how it works Turn the bike on, it lights up, and then if you give it a little bit of throttle, you get speed as well as a real-time power display. And it's pretty damn quick too. One line is pretty slow. And then you can get more info by hitting the M button here. You'll get motor temperature, controller temperature, and you even get bus current here, which I would imagine is battery current. For some reason, phase current doesn't display anything at all. I don't know if it's a configuration or what. I'll have to ask uh, the people that make this display. <laughs> Next, you just get the uh, battery information, but since we don't have a CAN enabled BMS on the battery, all you're going to see is voltage and capacity, which I think is just configured in the display itself. It's not 55, it's 28. <laughs> Definitely wrong. These are the various strings. So anyway, it took a while to figure this out because uh, nobody can explain it. So. To use this display to get real-time information and more information, you just have to use the CAN bus on the far driver. But you also need a far driver that's CAN bus enabled. Most of them aren't so far. And then you gotta hook up these two wires, CAN high and CAN low. And of course, uh, you know, I had to chop this off because I couldn't find a connector like this. Other than that, the display just needs a uh, the green wire which is which is ground and then the black wire which is battery positive yes very intuitive the rest are just turn signals headlights you know etc to get the display to show other things okay that's it bye